certified most accurate. Now, your first Warm 5 forecast with mid-Michigan's only live radar. Here's Chief Meteorologist Brian Bachman. Yeah, unfortunate to hear there that some events like racing with the Saints are getting delayed because of, of course, up until recently, the lack of snow. But even what we have on the ground, still just not enough for the snowmobilers. Good Friday evening to you, everyone. Hope you had a good Valentine's Day. And, you know, even though we do have some fresh snow on the ground and it's been a bitterly cold day here in mid-Michigan, it's important to not lose sight of the fact that it continues to be a very very mild winter. Now, looking at it in a slightly more nuanced way here tonight, we take a look at how many days this winter we have seen in the Tri-Cities where the high temperatures have failed to reach 20 degrees. And we had our first day of that today making it to a high of only 18 in the Tri-Cities. That's the first time this entire winter we've seen that. Whether in contrast to this time last winter, we had already seen 10 days with high temperatures below 20 degrees. Back in 2018, it was even more. We had 16 days through this time in the season and then slightly milder winters in 2016 and 2017. For Flint, it's actually a little bit worse, so to speak. You have yet to record a day this winter that has seen a sub 20 degree high temperature when we had eight by this time last year and 18 by this time two years ago. And unfortunately, according to the forecast, it really doesn't look like there's a whole lot of winter yet to come in the next week. Hour by hour, or excuse me, the uh, first one five pinpoint Doppler radar here tonight, live from MBS. That is snow free. Skies are clear, and that's allowing the cold air to dig in for one more night here, but not adding any new snow or keeping this cold around for too much longer. 13 degrees with a live look over a quiet downtown Saginaw, but it feels more like two when you factor in a south southwest wind still coming in tonight at about eight miles per hour. And moving on to the weekend portion here of the forecast. We take a look at the first one five sky tracker. Arctic high pressure is beginning to pull east of us now, allowing more of that southerly wind flow that we're seeing tonight. Fortunately for now, that's not really bringing our temperatures up very much. What we're going to watch for tomorrow is this area of low pressure. It's a clipper type system ducking across the Dakotas. That's going to race in and cut right across the lower peninsula late tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, bringing our next round of snow with it. But this lag, uh, this uh, round of snow that is going to be coming up a bit short in terms of accumulations. Before we get to that, though, another very cold night ahead of us here. We got wind chills near, if not below zero, already by the time we hit midnight. In fact, some of us even there as we speak. By the time we wake up tomorrow morning with temperatures well down into the single digits, wind chills will easily be into the negative single digits. And while we will make some headway tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, as you can see, we're only talking about getting wind chills back into the teens. And on the hour by hour forecast in terms of our snow situation here, clear skies here at midnight will continue on into first thing tomorrow morning. If anything, we'll start to see some clouds rolling in along parts of M55 by 8 a.m. By the time we hit midday, it goes more to a mostly cloudy sky as we cloud up pretty quickly. Then around 4 p.m. and really just on into about the 8 o'clock hour, quick passing round of snow showers cuts through the region. They're gone by midnight, and when all is said and done, Looking like a half an inch or less actually of accumulation in most locations, maybe on the high end up to three quarters of an inch south and east of the Tri Cities, but I think that's going to be a stretch. So for tonight, eight degrees, the overnight low temp, decreasing clouds, and another very cold night with sub zero wind chills. Looking ahead to the first one five seven day forecast, we're right back up to 30 degrees with those arriving snow showers tomorrow afternoon. 33 with a dry second half of the weekend on Sunday, mostly cloudy. An afternoon, evening rain, snow mix Monday night into Tuesday morning, and then it's back to more of the same. Just a lot of 30s and 20s, but at least with better chances for sun late next week. Yeah, that's nice. So we're already halfway through February, and we've only had one day. One. Wow. One day, and Flint hasn't even had one. They made it to 20 degrees today, so that is still have yet to hit that mark. That's incredible. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. Mm -hmm.